Hey, it's Jessica, and I have a package from Biggie Big Bigs. Oh, oop, there we go. This other part has my address, so just should have folded it over. This is just a receipt. There's the box. It's only one item. It's one of her uh, pre-mades. She's not taking any special orders anyways at the moment. This is for the guinea pigs. This is a Christmas present, so they can't have it yet. Let me cut all the way through. Right there, stamp, royal mail, air mail, small parcel. There we go. <laughs> It's in a bag. What else is here? Big, big, bigs. Thank you for your order. Care instructions. Safety. And there's other items. Kind of want a pig top. That's her newest item. I'm sure people know what I'm talking about. I'm waiting for it to go on. Maybe I'll be able to get one. And I kind of want. I don't know. I kind of want a pig wham as well. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. And maybe one of her tunnels. I don't know. But I don't know if I want to get like a special order or I'll just buy a whole bunch of her pre orders. There's her business card. Pig Pig Pigs. Laura Piggy Pig Pigs. YouTube. Nope. This has her website, her email address. There. Huge, it's as big as the box. But this is a pig loo. I don't know, I saw it and I knew I had money and I just like bought it on impulse. And then I started to pat and he's like, that's pretty cool, it's gonna be big. And I'm like, yeah, look at it. That's huge. It's a pig loo. Okay. <laughs> I can stuff Bender in there. Pretty much. Hey, Ben. He's like glowing eyes. Um, it comes with one pad. There it is. It's just fleece. I just thought it was really cute, I don't know, I think it was because it's light pink, and then the outer is like a navy blue, and then the uh, hearts and butterflies, and flowers. So yeah. And I think she wrote a message that said that eventually she'll be selling just these extra pads. So that might be cool. Knowing me, I'm going to want at least one extra pad. But even the bottom is actually quite plush. I don't really want to take it out of the bag because it's a Christmas present. So yeah, this is plush here. I knew this would be plush because that's why it's staying up. Nice foam. But I guess that's why she's kind of... A lot of people consider her kind of expensive. Even in pounds. Because basically this cost me was shipping $47. <laughs> and it's only for one item. Um, I can't remember how much it was. Let me look at the receipt. It was... See, the shipping alone was seven sixty, but that's pounds. Seven pounds, sixty pence. Ugh. So that um, Canadian, that would probably be, I think it was around, it's almost double. It's like thirteen dollars. No, it's less. It's a little less than double. And then the item itself is nineteen fifty. And on her website, you can change it to your own currency. So I th 1950 turns into like $32. But this is really big. Her other some of her other items are much like cheaper. Like her 2B tunnels, I think are around 11 to 14 dollars, and that's Canadian. Even the pigworm is a little bit cheaper. I, I used to call it pigworm, and then I realized that's not how it's spelled. <laughs> so. Two pigs can fit in there. Oh yeah, two pigs can fit in here, but I don't. My our pigs don't ever sleep together. Babies, you think? Two pigs can sleep in a bungalow, technically, kind of, but they don't. They did. I've never seen two pigs in there. I've Only when they're scared. Days. If they're scared, they're gonna run in together. Yeah. Yes. I've seen Daisy. But if they're just together. lounging, I've never actually seen two of my pigs sleep together. Mm. But we never know. We'll see. I don't think I need another one of these though. Like I said, I kind of want the pig top, pig wham. 
The tubi tunnels look cool too because it's just like the boning on each side and then the rest of it can go flat if, if they stay on it so they have to prop it open with their heads when they go in. Cool. So, but it's, yeah, it's a really, really good quality fleece and everything. There. So, a lot of people have said that, like, because when people complain that, oh, she's expensive, people will go, people are always like, well, have you ever bought one of their items? It's really the quality. It's really nice. Are you going to get a second one? Second one of these? Probably not. This is huge. I don't think I need a second one of these. I like the bungalows. Okay. This is going to take up a lot of room. Not really. Now if you remove one bungalow over, and just use the one bungalow and use that. It's deeper though. That's fine. You put it on the corner over there. So, I know she, just, she doesn't suggest drying her things. She, she always suggests air drying. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't know why though, because I always dry all my stuff <clears> and it comes out fine. Maybe the plastic for the skeleton of it? There is no plastic in this one. Really? There's no boning. This is, it's just foam. Oh wow. It's the foam keeping it up and the stitching at the back. That's really... She's got nice stitching here. Yeah. If I don't really care if nothing matches, I just like how it's like pink and girly. That's my theme. Pink and girly. So yeah, I'll shut up. I'm going to stop talking now because this is just an unboxing and it's getting a little long. But there's that sheet I got. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll put a link to her shop. If you're interested in buying any of her items, it's really nice. You can do custom orders. I know she's not taking any custom orders right now, but I think after the Harrogate Animal Show or whatever's going on in England, she'll be taking custom custom orders again. But she'll definitely have um, pre-orders, like up, uh, pre-mades up. Oh, there's her tag. That's what I was looking for. I like the piggy snag. What's cool about her stuff is uh, she always has this cute little tag on all her stuff that says. Made with love, piggy pig pigs, and it's a picture of Gus. Mm, poor Gussie. Yeah. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask, and bye-bye.